What do you think? I guess I kind of like it. Won't you miss the city? Nothing's permanent, right? <laughs> right. Love me, love me, love me, say you do. Look at us. We're just like everyone else. We've bought into the same ridiculous delusion. Let me fly. This idea that you have to settle down or resign from life. With you. The 50s are this iconic period in American history. It was after the Great War, the last uncomplicated war, and we were sort of undisputedly the good guys. And uh, without fetishizing the period at all, telling this story, this resonant story, on the background of the 50s, this iconic era, elevated it to a sort of mythic story about almost to how we got here. Um, you know, and it's, it, the book is in many ways prophetic. Uh, Frank's going to go into computers and he'd like to pack his wife off to psychoanalysis, which kind of, you know, is, is the latter half of the 20th century. Yeah, it's <laughs> this egg salad is delicious, April. You must tell me how you fix it. You a lawyer, Frank? Uh, no. No, I'm not. I could use a lawyer. John, let's not get started again about the lawyer. Pop, couldn't you just sit there and eat your wonderful egg salad and quit horning in? The source material of the book, we were also lucky to have such a rich um, source to draw from. It gave the, un the soft underbelly to this woman who is on top of things, a, a fixer, a fixer-upper. She fixes up houses. She's not just a real estate lady, and, and she is invested in that, invested in fixing things up and fixing her son's life up. Now, I don't need to be told that a man who goes after his mother with a coffee table is putting himself in a weak position legally. That's obvious. John, come have a look out this fabulous picture window. If he hits her with it and kills her, that's a criminal case. Oh, look, the sun is coming out. If all he does is break the coffee table and give her a certain amount of aggravation and she decides to go to court over it, that's a civil case. Maybe we'll have a rainbow. John, come have a look. Ma, how about doing everybody a favor? How about shutting up? The truth is singular and lies are plural. And I think that John, in a way, is, he has a, he has a lie too. It's a different lie. It's a different lie to theirs. You know, the truth is what would bring everyone together and make them one thing, as opposed to division and disharmony. And, you know, what he's practicing is essentially rooted in his own loneliness and his own inability to take care of himself, let alone anybody else, so. A man only gets a couple of chances in life. It won't be long before he's sitting around wondering how he got to be second rate. We can't go on pretending that this is the life we wanted. I support you, don't I? I work 10 hours a day at a job I can't stand. You don't have to. But I have the backbone not to run away from my responsibilities. Who made these rules anyway? And why? Is a win.